Hi, this is Kim from Sparkling Sprinkle, and today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to import your SVG cut files that you can buy that coordinate with our stamp sets to use with your electronic cutters such as like our puzzles today that we'll be using this time. And today we're going to be using one of our new stamp sets, um, the Hummingbirds and Flowers. This is the stamp set 451, and you can order this online, and you can also order it with the coordinating cut files. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll have make the cut open, and I'm going to import the the cut file by coming into SVG, where it says Import SVG, Import this, and then I'm going to go to where I have these located, and, and here they are, hummingbirds and flowers, and I'm going to first choose the bird and the flower. Um, cut file to go with this stamp. I've already stamped it out and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull this in and import it and I'm going to put it on my mat where I want it to cut and wherever I place this on this mat that's where it's going to cut on the mat on the machine. So I'm going to move it over to about right here. I've already got my mat installed in my machine. It's already put in so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to cut. And just keep in mind that your machine may be a little bit different than mine. So we're just going to, I'm going to make sure that all of my settings are um, are at the right setting here. Blade set 2, pressure 9. And this is going to spool and it will cut on the puzzles. And I do have this cutting a little bit slower because this does have a number of sharp curves in it and I just want to make sure that it gets the curves clean. And I'm going to have it do a multi-cut to make sure that it does cut all the way through. And it's just as a safety measure, measure for my, for my um, benefit here. And it's just going to take another minute. And keep in mind that once this is done cutting, we're not going to remove the mat from the machine. If you have a Cricut that is able to use the third-party software such as Make the Cut, just press Load Mat again. Do not press Unload Mat. If you have the puzzles, leave it alone. Don't unload your mat. It's just going to be back at the start out point. This first, set, this first cut now, remember, do not remove the mat from the machine. If you've got a Cricut, hit load mat again. Do not hit unload mat because we don't want to move this at all. What I'm doing here is I'm using this cut as a window to put in my stamp image. And I'm just carefully kind of maneuvering it in here and using this, like, as, like I said, as a window. And I'm going to position it to where it's going to cut where I want it to. And it may take a little bit to kind of position this in here. This is a pretty detailed cut, so it may take just a minute or so to get it positioned. And also I'm dealing with a kind of a sticky mat here, so that kind of... We want a sticky mat, but we also want to make sure that we get this where we want it. And I think... I just want to move this over just a little bit that way. And I think I kind of got it. Actually, no, I don't. I just want to move it up just a little bit more. Because I want to make sure I get my whole image. All right, I've got everything there, so I want to make sure I press this down good to make sure my stamped image stays down. I'm going to remove this top sheet. You know, you could keep it down if you want, but I'm just gonna, going to go ahead and remove it. And I am going to go ahead and press cut, start, and let it cut again. I have not moved the image on the screen. I have not moved my mat. And so where this is gonna do is, as long as I did not move my mat or the paper, in which I was using as a guide, it should cut exactly in the same spot as it did before. 
and it should be done here in just one second. And having these cut machines work this way makes life a little bit easier. That way you're not working with an exacto blade trying to cut around a detailed image, which also in turn could actually, you know, test out the, the risk of injury. So now what we have here is we have our cut image, our stamped image that has come out just as if you were to cut it and you used one of our cut files. Thank you for watching and you'll have a great day stamping.